can you can you hear me fine yes we can hear you right so uh i'm i'm like, like as bianca said i'm ali and joanio is is in the background uh taking care of of uh, that i don't say anything uh inappropriate <laughs> uh so i'm we're, we're here at the uh, Cortex infrastructure. I'll share my screen so you can follow. Good. I guess this is working. And you're seeing Bianca too much. Uh, good. Uh, so here's a uh, Cortex infrastructure. is is a is a, uh, a research infrastructure based on uh, Gustave Eiffel University in, in France. Uh, despite the fact that both me and Joinio are Brazilian, um, it's a, it's a space for a where we develop and work with computational methods in support of social science fieldwork. So it's not traditional uh, quantitative social science. It, it, it's much more related to uh, the, the cohort analysis tradition of Michel Calon and and the sociology of translation of, of Latour, Calon, and all. And, and, it's, uh, and we have an, a, a service, an online, uh, uh, besides our, what we do, uh, we have an online service, a no-code service, uh, that provides inscription analysis, inspired by those ideas, uh, which means we do text analysis, heterogeneous networks, clustering, and interactive visualizations. Uh, it's an online service, so there's nothing, usually you don't install something, you just come and use the platform. Uh, and, and we've been working on integrating uh, OpenLX. Uh, so we're, we're kind of like the, 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 the competition, complementary competition <laughs> with Voss Viewer because we focus more on the text, I would say, uh, 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 and less on the bibliometric aspects. But we, we, you see there is a shared background. Uh, and we use Buzz Viewer inside our, our, our infrastructure as well. Uh, not in our methods, but in, in some work we do. Uh, so here's the web. Uh, here's the documentation. There's a large uh, number of methods that are available. And what we're working on right now is, well, uh, since op there's, there's a part of what OpenLX integration, which is perfectly thanks to OpenLX because they provide a pretty good CSV files and we can already absorb that so we already we were already integrated from the start but then uh, well like other uh, services uh, but now we're working on uh, the ability to download from uh, an API query uh, like very similar to what uh, was shown uh, just before and another thing since we work with a lot of different kinds of corpora uh, and not only bibliographic, bibliometric, bibliographic corpora. Uh, sometimes we just have lists of of, of titles of things uh, that were extracted, for example, from from gray literature or from policy documents. Uh, and we want to recover uh, the metadata for those things, and we're using Op OpenLX for that. So those three things are, are in experimental. Uh, phase right now in our development server. Uh, so you can come with a corpus and so this is the interface for Cortex Manager. Usually in a new project is nothing, but this is I'm not uh, I won't have the time to launch uh, everything, but this is a, 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 a project that has been done on top of an, an CSV export and uh, one step uh, one step was uh, so we have a uh, options like extracting terms. So we, we extracted lists of terms from this document, which was a do, uh, this, uh, this corpus, which was a corpus about injuries in dance. Uh, uh, don't ask me why. <laughs> uh, so we have like, uh, it has identified terms and identified similar terms that share uh, the same roots. Uh, so these are noun phrases. Uh, and we can index documents from the non phases that are more significant in the corpus. And on top of that, uh, then we can create network visualizations. We can also recognize named entities. So for example, names of persons in the, that are present in a text, in this case, uh, the abstracts of, of the text, 
So people call Craig, Brighton, etc. And all these lists are editable. You can edit them, curate them, and bring back to, to, the, to, to, the, to the manager, to, to, to Cortex. Uh, we also have gel coding. Uh, if you have address, in this case, we didn't, but, but I did some experiments. Um, and then uh, from that, we can, we can do some simple visualizations uh, that show the evolution in time of certain, of certain terms and certain things that have been extracted. Uh, this is not the button I wanted to click here. So here we're seeing uh, the type of, of publication evolving in time. But that's uh, that would be better if we, yeah. And here uh, the topics, the uh, open Alex topics, and how in our corpora about dance injuries, injuries in dance, uh, how different uh, topics uh, evolved in time. Um, yeah, here we're with, yeah, and here it's the. Yeah, here's is, is the keywords, the keywords in time. So we can have this kind of uh, following the the, the, the the thematic evolution of a corpus. We also can uh, uh, produce uh, simple matrices that combine different aspects of the corpus. Like I said, we're, we're, we're good at heterogeneous networks. This is like the source of certain articles. And this is like the... Uh, the terms, the, the noun phases that were extracted from, from the terms, and we see that certain sources are more associated with different noun phases. This can be used in several ways. Um, and finally, I wanted to show uh, kind of network maps that we can produce. Here is, like I said, we, we do a lot of work with the heterogeneous network. So here is a network that contains at the same time uh, the, the, the extracted terms and the people who are more involved uh, with uh, specific terms in our corpus. So we can see the musculoskeletal injuries is related to a certain number of authors uh, uh, and injury incidents to different, and some, some are shared between both. And this creates different uh, communities in, in our network. Uh, and finally, uh, we can produce networks that evolve in time and and this gives us also some different kind of visualizations that show how the clusters uh, evolve in different time steps and how they constitute new clusters and they merge and, and, and merge and split into different uh, clusters so uh, how am I in terms of time? You have about one and a half minutes. Okay, so that's good. So the last thing I wanted to show is uh, is here where uh, we've shown how, this is the development version, so this is not yet available, but uh, we soon have this possibility of uh, these are all the methods that are available in, in, in Cortex Manager. If you click uh, on the right, you see the documentation for each method. If it loads quickly enough, there you go. We see the variables and what they do, with the kind of response you get, results you get. And finally, well, I wanted to show, yeah. So now we have this, we still have this method here. Uh, which is our first data collection method because so far uh, we've always worked on the basis that the user brings the data and uploads it. Uh, but this uh, OpenLX has incited us, the existence of, uh, for which we're very thankful of OpenLX has in, in, incited us to uh, create a, a method that automatically collects data because it's in a good uh, extent because it's open and well structured we can do this easily uh, so we're gonna you're gonna paste the api api query uh, as you saw give a name to the corpus and you can limit the number of records you want to, to collect and that will create a corpus uh for you that, that this is what we got here this is a database that was created 
and, then, and and so we can just start using other scripts on top of uh, the open LX corpus, like extracting terms. And here we have the fields, uh, title year, author, uh, and other things. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's uh, that's it. I didn't. Uh, that's that's what I wanted to to show you. And everybody's is welcome to to try these things out. And and if you are interested in this kind of work, you can contact us and. We provide support in our forum, and we're glad to keep working with uh, the possibilities that OpenLX has opened for us, uh, which we've only started uh, exploring. In fact, uh, that's it. Thank yep. you very much.